and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Carly and I'm going to be doing a quick Monday review. We do these every Monday. I'm really excited because I think one of my favorite videos to watch are complexion reviews like foundation or concealer. And Britt and I both picked this up and I feel like I have a good opinion on it now. So I wanted to do a review and it's the new Beauty Blender Bounce Skin Tint. Always on Radiant Skin Tint. It's one ounces and it is $29. So let's get into the review. Okay, this comes in 20 shades and I like to think I actually have a really good like eye for picking shades online. So I ordered shade light four and I actually think it's like probably the best shade for me. It says light skin tones with warm olive undertones. So generally Britt and I look for something that's light skin tones um, with neutral undertones because we're both very neutral. So I will say this is slightly too warm for me, but warm as in like how they say olive. Like it's not too, too yellow, which I find it to be really hard to like a lot of complexion products lean way too yellow on me and this one is actually pretty good so I'm really happy with the shade I'm glad I went with this one if you're similar skin tone to us I think you would like um, shade light four and we bought this because Kelsey Ros Rosalie Rouge if you don't follow her she has like an amazing Instagram um, and a YouTube channel and she put this on I think it was on her Instagram and it looked so good on her skin and she was like I wore this all day like it still looks so good so I really wanted to get it um, because I loved how like let me read how this is described I love how it's described it's just sort of like a natural finish so it says a skin tint that hydrates with light medium buildable coverage and a naturally radiant finish so i really liked how that was described because i feel like nowadays i definitely don't like something too dewy like i really still love the ilia skin tint and the safe lip tint but they're both like pretty dewy and i find that even though i love like how glowy my skin looks with those products a lot of times they just like emphasize the fine lines and like large pores i have so I really have been looking for products that lean more just like a natural finish. Nothing too matte because when something is too matte as well, I find that it really starts to really emphasize my lines, but finding that like happy medium is really hard and I will say that I think this product does it. And it also says um, it has hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, and willow bark, and beta glucan. So lots of skincare ingredients. I, I don't know for sure, but I would assume those are pretty low like marketing levels, but maybe they are efficacious levels. Um, I can't really tell the difference from just using it as my foundation product, but it's cool that they added those in there. Okay, in my opinion, you actually don't need a lot of this product. Um, you will see me apply it in the clip right now, but I do like two, you know, average drops on the back of my hand, and I find that I can just dab that all over my face, and that is certainly enough to spread all over my face because as you will see, it is a very thin texture. Obviously it's in this dropper format. So products in a dropper are always pretty thin in viscosity, they're never too thick. So it spreads really, really effortlessly across the face. And my favorite way to apply it is with a brush. As with all foundations, I just love a brush. And I find this to be no exception. I can like literally blend it in in two seconds and it doesn't look streaky. And I find that even though I didn't use a ton of product, the coverage is actually pretty good, which is really something that surprised me. I hope you can tell in the clip that it really did cover like evenly and it gave me like a good canvas. I feel like I have been really used to more like low coverage complexion products. Like I said, I've been using the Say Slip Tint for months now, and that is like very sheer coverage. And while I like that, it really is nice to have something in my collection that I feel like this is like a true medium coverage. Like maybe some people think it's light, but to me it's like a good medium coverage product that really does cover like any sort of redness or discoloration I want to cover or even, um, like active breakouts but it doesn't look too heavy or too high coverage where it looks um you know that's just not the look i really like i do want to say in the clip where i apply which i don't know if this is because we always film these clips with our phones but it looks more dewy in that clip than i feel like it looks in person i have my phone right here and i'm looking at my skin because i'm wearing it right now and i really do feel like it is just like a natural finish 
and actually I when I have like dry skin days I wore this the other night and my skin had been um, like recovering from a reaction so it was actually pretty dry and I wore it and I felt like it almost looked more matte on me and I didn't even need to set it with powder like I put on a full face of makeup and didn't put any powder on because I felt like this had just dried down in like a pretty matte way but I really love that it's like more of like a natural and maybe even slightly matte like on me it doesn't look dewy I will say for some reason on Brita it's been looking more dewy so that leads me to believe that if you wear like a really dewy moisturizer or if you put like a face oil underneath or something it can look dewier but I wear very like um you know very like a natural finished skincare products i don't really wear anything during the day that's very dewy so i find that with layered on top of my skincare it really does just look like a natural skin finish and it can even look pretty matte and i've really been loving that because i feel like the day that it looked more matte on me and i didn't put any powder on I layered on like a cream bronzer, um, a powder blush, a liquid highlighter. It all went on really effortlessly on top of it and it like blended in really nicely. Um, my skin didn't look too like dry or heavy. <clears throat> it just looked really nice and almost like blurred. I do think that there's silicones in here which is adding to like some sort of blurring effect that I see which again I really like. I I thought this from the very beginning, but I don't know if you guys have tried the Shiseido Synchro Skin Foundation, but I bought that like when it first came out and I used up the whole bottle. I loved it, but my only gripe with that foundation was that it was so thick that I feel like I could like to use a couple pumps because it put <laughs> like the dosage was such like a thick small dot. So I'd always like pump out more than I needed because once you put it on your face, like the coverage was pretty good. But you, it was so thick, like you really had to like work to blend it in. I still love that foundation. I repurchased like today. It's so good. But I really feel like, if anyone tried both, tell me if you agree. But I feel like this is just like a thinner version of that. Like it really has that same sort of like blurring effect on the skin. Like I have it on right now. Like I said, I feel like it does like slightly blur your pores and fine lines. And the Synchro Skin Foundation, like the whole science behind that foundation, Shiseido said was that it sort of like worked with your face. Like you could like smile and like go about your day and like have emotions and it would like move with your face. Like it just like synced with your skin. And I think that I was like, oh, that's just such a marketing claim. But with that foundation, I was constantly like, wow, this is so true. Like it's not getting into any fine lines and it's not like breaking up anywhere and it really did like wear extremely well and I find that this does the same exact thing like I've only noticed like the tiniest amount of like product buildup around my nose but the tiniest tiniest amount but everywhere else like under my eyes like in my fine lines on my foreheads where I have like more like deeper lines I feel like it just like really moves with your face and doesn't like get stuck in those lines and I love that. I'm really impressed with that with this product. So if you can't tell I really love this. The only only downside is that one night that I wore it where I didn't powder because it looked pretty matte on my dry skin. I did notice that because I was recovering from that um, face rash and I had like some dry skin on my chin that it didn't look, I wouldn't say it looked like I would just say it looked a little dry and a little heavy in those areas. So I would definitely say that if you have super dry skin, I would just make sure to like do exfoliate before wearing this because um, I have like actual flaking skin on my chin from that and it just like gathered a little bit and looked a little dry, which then in turn made it look a little heavy, but it hasn't looked like heavy anywhere else on my skin and that was only that one night. Um, and my skin usually doesn't have that problem. And now that I've healed from that reaction, I haven't had that issue with this foundation. And I just like really love how it looks. So I'm so impressed. I'm like looking at my face right now. I just think that it, it holds up so nicely. And it's a really beautiful and unique product. And I actually think the price is shockingly good for how good this product is for only $29. So I really love this so far. If you guys have tried it, please let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear what you're thinking about it.